Shamanism is a religion that contains many myths of human history. Such natural religions give us a lot of material in discovering the fundamentals of human nature. There are many novels in Korean literature which depict human nature through shamanism. What is the nature of Koreans found in these novels? In Kim Dong-li's Ulhwa the Shaman, we can make a guess. Shall we begin a trip into his world? Ulhwa is the name of a shaman sorceress. She lives with her daughter in a house with a shaman painting and makes a living by performing a ceremony called good for other people. She has a painful past. When she was young, she had an illegitimate son, the fruit of forbidden love. The woman with painful memories becomes famous for linking the gods with humans. One day, someone brings trouble to Ulhua. It is the son she bore long ago. Unlike his shaman mother, he has become a Christian. In those days, shamans were deemed the lowest of classes, and due to the spreading philosophy of enlightenment, shamanism began to draw scorn. <laughs> the mother and son's conflict of shamanism and Christianity makes up the main storyline of this novel. The backdrop is the Korean countryside struggling with the new wave of modernism in the 1930s. The shaman sorceress consists of eight parts. Ulhwa's neighborhood, her relationship with her children, and the process by which she became an exorcist is portrayed in detail. Illuminism, which was then gaining popularity between the intellectuals and the import of Christianity to the Korean society, is also introduced. But the main contribution of this novel which we can see in Ulhwa's good scene is how the writer portrayed Korean traditional culture in full detail, allowing future generations a closer look at our culture and introducing it to the outside world. Shamanism in this novel shows a picture of gods and humans in coexistence. The shamanist in between the two connects this world and the next world, and has the great power of deciding human's fate. Such tradition highly influenced Korean culture and has made a stream of a world where God, man, and nature coexist peacefully. This is clearly shown in the Ogugu, which is a form of an exorcism performance. The Ogugu guides the soul of the dead, so that it does not torment the living and peacefully goes on its way to heaven. The true characteristics of shamanism and the mass psychology of the Koreans are seen through the Ogugut, which Ulhua performs so passionately. The 
the main axis of conflict, the struggle between Christianity and shamanism reaches its climax in the last scene of the story. To rebuke her son, who wants to leave her for Christianity, Ulhua tries to burn the Bible. The son, trying to stop her, is accidentally stabbed by his mother and eventually loses his life. The loss of her son is heartbreaking. In trying not to lose traditional values, Unhua lost everything. Her grief reflects the image of the Korean people who lost their own values in the tide of modernism. Kim Dong-ni라는 작가는 그 일제 말기에 창작 활동을 시작했을 때부터 어 평생 동안 어 한국적인 것을 탐구하고 문학적으로 밝혀내고 표현하는 것을 자신의 과제로 삼아 왔습니다. 그리고 특히 그와 같은 한국적인 것을 탐구한다라고 할 때에 이 종교적인 차원의 깊은 관심을 가지고 그러니까 이 종교라는 요소와 한국적이라는 요소 이것을 연결시키면서 자기의 문학 세계를 개척해 나간 것이 다른 작가들과 이제 구별되는 김동리의 아주 참 중요한 그리고 의미 있는 문학적 개성이라고 이렇게 이야기할 수가 있을 것 같습니다. The author of this novel was Kim Dong Ni, a prominent Korean writer who wrote many novels and critical essays. Born in 1913, he graduated from a Christian school to become a poet and later a novelist. Armed with the ideas of pure literature and neo humanism, he was the leading Korean novelist of the past century before his death in 1995. The main theme of Kim dong nis works is the unsolvable problem of the gods and humans. Through literature, he wanted to provide a solution to this turn-of-the-century crisis. He tried to create a new god and a new form of humanity through his shaman characters. This started with his 1936 short story, The Shaman Painting. He rewrote it into a novel and titled it The Shaman Sorceress in 1978, intricately portraying the world of shamanism in his literature. Conflict between traditional and modern religion is a difficult task to pass for all societies undergoing modernization. Uwa the shaman of Kim Dong Ni draws a life of a man in the process thus asking us the question, what is the meaning of life? The world of shamanism in this novel, another myth in Koreans' hearts is found. It is a myth that lives and breathes forever. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time.